Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Infraspace. This is by a developer called Dionic Software. Just released into early access, thought we'd check it out. And it's a sci fi city builder where the flow of resources goes through your city's transport infrastructure. Build a um, efficient utopia from nothing. We start mining, we can plan production, lay down transportation to ensure a smooth supply chain. So let's see how bad I am at doing this. So I can choose my difficulty at the start. We can have easy, medium, and hard. Let's just go for medium. Transport difficulty. Control how many items vehicles can carry. Uh, we'll just try medium for both. Okay, do you want the tutorial tips? I would like the tutorial tips, because otherwise I will absolutely fail. So, first of all, we need to build a road next to sulfur and iron. And this is going to help me to build my first city, apparently. Okay. So we're going to go to the construction menu. Um, you can click here to construct roads and buildings, move them and destroy them. Okay. By default, you can move your camera with your arrow keys. Wasada, or move your mouse. Press the middle mouse button and drag your mouse to rotate your view. Right. So, yeah, standard. Cool. Okay, so I need to build a road next to sulfur and iron. Now, which is which? Sulfur, I'm assuming, is yellow. Yeah. And iron is here. So, this looks like the perfect place to do a road. Now, is there bigger quantities? So the sulfur over there. I think this might be a pretty decent spot. It's got two quantities next to each other. So we are going to do a road. So we'll click road. Road is one. What is that symbol? Cube? I think it's concrete. I've got 400 concrete. Right, so how do I place it then? Uh, click it. Okay, and we do our little road here. Now, interestingly enough, let's let's uh, we can't do the road right next to those bits. I can do it there. Wait a minute. Do we have to draw it in increments? Okay, that seems to work. Right, now it says build a sulfur mine. So I'm assuming that is in this one. So we've got a steel mill. It's not going to be that one. Okay, it's in here. Sulfur mine. Okay, now how does this work then? I'm assuming I need to place it on it. Okay, we'll, we'll whack it there. E and Q. Ooh, okay. So E and Q is the axis for it. Now, we also need to do a sand mine. The sand... Wait a minute. I know it sounds stupid. But does the sand mine just go actually on the sandy area like this? Let's try that. And then build a concrete factory. So I'm assuming we're setting up a production line here. So we'll have sand and then we're going to have concrete. So... So, where do I get concrete? So, concrete makes two, two sulfur and one sand to make four concrete. So, we'll try and put that there. Right, now we need to get some power to get all this up and running. So, we'll click in here. And we'll do a wind turbine. We need to, we, we need to cover all the buildings on this, so... And we'll put it like there. Okay, now I've got to use power poles to connect my buildings. So we'll do a black hit both of them maybe. Okay, is that working? Okay, that's not working. How's these work then? Can I? I don't know if that. I don't know if that's working. Let me try it again. How do I connect these to the building? Do I need to put it next to the building? Um, It's sort of near it. I 
How do I connect these up there? I love how it just doesn't tell me how to do it. Let's get rid of these. I think these aren't connected. These need to be connected. Power pole. Right, so that should be connected there. Don't, I don't understand how we wire it up to the actual building. That one's connected, though. Oh, there you go. So you have to sort of drag it from where you want to do it to. And then place it near it. Yeah, so if I drag it from that. Stick it there. Click that. We have power! Finally! Okay, now can I... Yoink from the to there. Will that work? Looks like it's working. We are constructing now, so sulfur is coming out of that. Sand will hopefully be coming out of that. Yep, there you go. That's a sand cart. And then once that sand cart goes in here, we should make some concrete. And hopefully we'll start seeing the concrete going up here. So if we click on this. Makes a block of four units. Come on, are you going to go up? Maybe it stores it internally. <coughs> now, next thing I need to do is build a construction material storage. So we'll go in here. And this is just going to be to this thing here. Wow, look at the size of it. Oh, we can zoom inside it, look. Get a sneaky little peek inside. I like that. Oh, look at this. How cool is this? That is nice. I do like that. So now we should start seeing concrete going up. There we go. Concrete is going up. Concrete is getting transported. Lovely. Right, what's this? What's this here? Tutorial, quick city info. Let's click play on that. So, we've got the main information down here. So, this panel gives you an overview of your city. Top row shows you how much concrete and steel you've got. You need both materials to construct buildings. The third icon shows you if you have enough power. Cool. And the bottom row shows you how many people you live, uh, how many workers are needed, and how much housing is available. So, 20 population. I've got 9 jobs and 20 housing. I don't know how we've got housing now. How have we got 20 houses? Because I need to build a basic one now. Basic habitat. Okay. So I've got to think about how I'm going to place all this. Because this is going to be a nightmare. Um, should I just do it on the other side of the road for now? Okay. Now that needs atmosphere. So I need to do an atmosphere processor. Which produces O2. So we will stick one of them. Hopefully that's going to make O2 and satisfy this one. I think maybe these... Do these stock up with oxygen? You need to provide these things in order to get people to move in. If you manage to provide these things, the habitat will upgrade to the next level. Okay, so that's... Oxygen is filling up there. And hopefully that's going to automatically transfer to this. I don't need to do tubes... But I do need to next build a spaceport, apparently. Now, I feel like this is something that shouldn't be right next to my building as such. So, I want to. What I'll do is, I'm going to do a road here. Let's bring the road over here. Like that. And I'm going to put my spaceport over here. Ooh, I like the way it snaps too. That's pretty cool. 150 concrete. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go for it. I want to auto snap to that little bit there. There we go. Reach a population of 22 people he wants me to do. Apparently I've got housing for 28 and I've got 20 people. Immigrants ready to move in 10. So this is going to make them move in, I think. So we're in full production here at the moment. Can we see the uh, the stocks? Yeah, so you can see I've got... We've not got a huge amount of sand. Sand is not particularly high, so maybe I might want to do another sand 
another sand mine. Because we're going to use quite a lot of uh, sand in this. And it is two sand, one... Well, it's one... It's two sulfur and one sand to make the blocks. So I just wanted to have... More sand. Right. Hopefully these are both working now. It seems to be working. Concrete levels should be rising now. And I've got a requirement of 5 power and 20 generated. So it must be from that there. That must generate 20... Is it megawatts? Um, I've got 21 people now. That's good. My oxygen's filling up. It does say survival food as well, so maybe I can do maybe I can produce some food. Let's have a little look. Habitat. It's not really told me how to make food just yet. I don't want to be rushing ahead doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing just yet. It did say about iron, didn't it? Let's go and uh, grab an iron mine while we're here. Now I don't know if they have to be on it or if they can be near it. I think that will need power though, so we will stick a power line here. Let's see, if I can do like that, and then plonk it there next to it. So we might as well, we might as well start stockpiling iron now while we can. Because we're not using it at the moment, and it's going to be something we need. So I'm hopefully the iron goes into that. Don't seem to be making much of it at the moment. Right, next up is a research lab. Now, what's the difference? Green Science Pack Factory and a research lab. Let's just do the research lab because it's not told me any of the other stuff to do. So, plonk that down. This must be citizens coming from the airport. Nice. Oh, and build a science pack factory. Okay, so we will build one of those. And that produces iron into maybe credits and research. Oh, production is iron and credits, I think. So I take it this is the iron trucks coming to visit. Look. Oh, yeah. We should start seeing the... Uh... Oh, it's carbon. Oh, interesting. I don't know how we make carbon. I do not know. Okay, here comes the iron trucks then. Here they come. Now, these are all going to get delivered in here. There we go. We should start seeing production going up. Good. Click on the science pack factory to see which resources are needed. So this is... We've, I think we already covered this. We're, we're just making. We're making science. So we're using carbon and iron ore. And we are going to be uh, churning more stuff out. I always feel like I should really get another sulfur mine on the go. How's the production going? I mean, we're constantly making it. Maybe we'll do okay. We don't need to get another one just yet. I want me to research something called farming. Uh, research farming. So how do I do that? So I'll click on this. I, I guess we just click on it, and that'll start. That'll activate the research. Hopefully. Now we are generating science. Now I'm hoping. I don't know where we see it. Oh, there we go. Look, we are generating science. Nice. So we're gonna get that to hundred percent. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Welcome to Shirleyville. A place where you would starve, and I wish you'd gone home. That does look good. Right, so we're not, we're not really short of anything at the moment, I don't think. We've got enough people. We've got 24 jobs. We've got 28 housing. We could probably do to maybe get ready for some extra housing. Let's get another habitat on the go. Get we'll we'll get prepared so we can get more people. Okay, we've unlocked farming and can now build a simple farm. So let us build a simple farm. 
So this produces food. Now, where does the food need to go? I'm just thinking, do I need to put it near here before I put the houses? Okay, so how does this work? Oh, it's pretty cool. Huh? Look at this. Ah, oh. do you know in the in the world with like food and stuff? I can't believe we've not got these already. You know, massive big farming complexes in the desert, just doing food for everyone. So that's going to produce some uh, food here. Now, does that mean it can? feed five people or is that how many people work there I wonder okay so we've got a bit of a population 29 is that good or bad Satis satisfy the needs of your hab habitants until they upgrade automatically oh well, that was these things wasn't it look so these should be filling up now so look that's getting food Let's see. Is that food that's coming out of here? Can't really tell. Where's that going? It looks like a food truck. What is it? Let's have a little look. No, 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 because that's the concrete factory. We just got some more people in that uh, building then, though. I feel like I should get more food being made. Have we got stats? I've not really played around up here yet. Let's have a little look. So jobs are rising. Population is rising. Housing is rising. Um, I want to look at food. So does it give me projected production? 0 0.07. That is as clear as mud to me. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um... I think we're doing okay for power, though. Yeah, we're only using 11. Okay. So it's filling both these in at the same time, which is a little bit slow. Should I build an extra food? Yes, I shall. It can't hurt, can it? We're going to need more people. So I think having two food production things would be a good thing to do. Now, my, my steel, we're on 79 steel, but we can't actually do anything with the steel just yet. So I don't think we need to have the actual... Oh, no, 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 we do need the iron mine, don't we? For Yeah, we do, we do. I'm talking jive. I need the steel for this, don't I? To do the science... I could probably do a, a new science thing now. So... I did see Nook playing this, and someone did mention about getting a lot, of, getting water quite early. So I'm just curious how I get water. Um, wow, look at the tech, though. Look at all this. There's so much to learn. Four lane roads, concrete roads, green science. I think we should get steel production next. I don't think it'll let me actually grab any of that yet until, you know, until we're ready for it. Okay, habitat upgrading in 18 seconds. So the extra one is working. Oh, so that you need eight, six of eight. So I need eight people in that one. So this one should upgrade now. So let's watch this and see if we can see this visually change. Is it going to look any different? Oh, it did. Look, cool. You finished your tutorial. Congrats, you're now ready to make your city great. Okay, let's do my research then. So I'm going to go for steel production next. This is pretty interesting. And I, I guess this one, once you get to eight and then get full food, you can level up. And then this one, when you get home appliance, you can level up again. Right, city levels. Let's see what it says about this. So if we click on this, settlement. This panel shows you how many people are living in each type of habitat. You need to upgrade your habitats. So we're all level, level two, we've got eight. 
you can go all the way up to level 6. Your city will be promoted to small town once you have at least 300 level 3 people. Okay. Check the progress bar to see how many citizens need to get better housing. Yeah, a lot. 300 people. Okay, so we can click off that now. We've now done the steel research for the steel mill. So, that means I can stick one of these down now. We'll stick it near the power here. So it can be pretty much opposite that one. Okay, and this is going to start pumping out steel. So I can get the levels of that back up. Right, research. So, home appliance is the next level. So let's go for electronics. Now, it did say copper. A copper mine is next. And look at this. There's a big copper field up here. So let's start prepping to get copper. So I'm going to build my road all the way up here. Now, oh, look at this. We can build the roads at angles. Nice. Now, I think the only thing about building... Oh, there's actually a concrete thing there. We can actually mine it. Yeah, I think the only thing about building these near the roads... It's a bit... How do I describe it? Um, I feel like I need to build fairly near to, near to these to mine them. So let's just do it there like that. Now, can we do two-way roads? If I do another road here... and do it like that. I could have sulfur on that side and copper on that. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. Right. Nice little touch there. It tells you the research there. 27%. Now, I do need a lot more people, don't I? Um, so these... You need food to level up. I need a lot of houses. I'm a bit concerned about the food production because I don't understand how many people one person can... How many can this produce food for? It doesn't It doesn't tell me. And have we got anything new? Ooh, what's this? A recycling centre. Soil enrichment. Okay, so we've got all that. There's nothing new we need to build at the moment, I don't think. I think, I think mainly it's going to be habitats that we need. We've got 39 jobs and 40 people. So let's get some more habitats put down. So which was habitats? I think it was the green one. Oh no, that's oxygen. Oh, atmosphere processor as well. We might need more of those. Right, let's get more habitats put down. That's in a terrible place. Let's knock that one down. Let's just do these all as a row. Nice. So these are all going to get oxygen. Which I'm assuming we've got a bit of a backlog of, have we? Well, it seems to be getting it from somewhere. We've not got a huge amount of uh, atmosphere. But look, It does look like it when it does produce it, it does store a little bit. So it's going to be slower to upgrade some of these. But you can see I've up to 88 housing now, which is super. I've not seen any mention about time scales in this game, about speeding stuff up, but it certainly looks interesting that I can unlock all the tech as I want. And then it's going to, uh, yeah, it's going to slowly unlock everything. We do seem to have a problem with carbon now. Not sure how we produce that. I think maybe this makes it, the atmosphere processor. Makes 102 and one carbon. So we are sort of missing a little bit of carbon. We, we're doing... This uses one of those and one of those to make that. However, this here also uses one of that. So... I'm just wondering if maybe if I built another atmosphere process, a process that's a, I wonder if I built another of these. 
that would help out matters. I think it might, you know. Let's do another one. Let's get two. Now, that doesn't tell me it's not got power, but I think that's not got power. Yep, it does now. Okay, we are going to have to... We're getting close to the edge for uh, power restrictions now, so I'm going to put another... Let's put another wind farm down. Can we put it sideways? Just to be a rebel. Let's see. Okay, and then we need to connect that to that. Plonk it down. Okay, so we've now got the ability to build a copper mine and then an electronics factory, which I think would be perfect to put down here. So we will go in here. We'll get a copper mine. Plonk it on there. And then I'm assuming the electronics factory. Yeah, that needs steel and copper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that near here. And then we are gonna need power down this end. Now to save me having to build it and bring this all the way down, I'm gonna put this in range. Connect that. And will that connect to both of them? I think it should. Right. Research. What next? Home appliances gives me a home appliance factory, which will then mean I can unlock the next uh, housing tier. That's going to get iron over there. We might need to treat ourselves to another iron mine. Now, I'm curious about efficiency. 100% efficiency. Now, let's just put that on a little bit like that. Now, is that going to be as efficient? Ah, so it's not. It does depend on how much it's covering. Well, we have got two lots of iron being made, manufactured now, which should help. There you go. The storage is coming up. So, is it we get to five and then it spits one out? I don't know what the requirements are. Okay, my power my power's really close to the limit there, which is surprising, because I've just built another one here. Not enough power in Network 1. Let's have a little look. Now, where's Network 1? I don't know where the network is. I mean, can, can I build these all up and, like, sort of connect them as one network? Let's see. Um... Connect that up to that, and up to that. So there you go. I've connected this all into one network now. Now let's examine this one. That's making 20 megawatts, and so is that one. So the orientation doesn't seem to matter. Now that is spitting out copper, and then that is taking copper and steel and making electronics. So we do have a little production line going. Um, I think this has got enough power. That needs one megawatt, and that needs three megawatts, and that is spitting out 20. So that's good enough. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there for now. This is really fascinating, getting this the whole thing of setting up the infrastructure. Uh, it does seem good, and it does seem like as though there's going to be a lot I can do with the whole research thing, so... Yeah, that is cool. Anyway, this is Infraspace, and it's by Dionic Software. If you did enjoy watching this, let me know in the comments below. And also, while you're here, if you can leave me a thumbs up on the video, it helps all the YouTube algorithms, and if you're feeling extra cheeky, drop me a sub and let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, taking the time to click that link. Hopefully, you enjoy my thumbnails. I am trying to do better thumbnails. Whether including my ugly face in them is better or worse, I do not know, but do let me know. Anyway, that is it for now. This is Infraspace First Look. See you next time.